Bitches, it's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Follow me in all the links. Will Smith, the shit out of the like button. Let's go. Um, quick video. I want to talk about the Rap Act. For those that don't know what this is, it is the Restoring Artistic Protection Act, which is going to. Um, block the use of uh, lyrics, uh, more specifically rap lyrics, it's gonna be, it's gonna be intended to stop it to be uh, um, used as uh, evidence that's admissible in court, right? Um, <laughs> I'm here to tell you why I think that's such a stupid idea. And I know there's a ton of artists, uh, Jay-Z included, that's that's pushing this shit. I, I think that this is a fucking dumb fucking idea because, you know, a lot of niggas like to look in the now. A lot of you like to live in the now. You don't see the bigger picture. A lot of y'all don't think ahead. Um, what this is, you know, the, the good side of this is uh, people are looking at it as art preservation and stuff like that. And um, I, I'm with that 100%. I'm with artistic expression. I believe in freedom of speech, all of that. You know, I'm a broken record when it comes to that shit. Um, however, with the advent of drill rap, um, I mean, you have gangster rap. Gangster rap been around forever. Um, but more particularly with the advent of drill rap and certain uh, situations, I'll just leave it at that. You know, you, you have rap getting a little bit more personal and violent. Now, um, there are some songs in drill rap where... People are being very, very detailed and basically talking about going up and murking people and doing this and that and the third. And it's almost to the point where you're mirroring something that that actually happened. Whether you were there or not, who knows? Some people are going down for shit. Some people, I mean, it's basically like a confession on wax, essentially. And no need to name some of these artists. Y'all already know who they are. But... The reason I don't like this shit is because what it's going to do is it's going to promote more of that. You know, you have people out here saying, oh, you know, it, it's it's my artistic right to do this. And I, I'm not even going to argue that. Again, some of my favorite rap, especially right now, y'all know, Griselda, hands down, love Griselda. I, all my favorite rap right now is basically hardcore shit. You know, uh, again, anything Griselda, uh, Vinnie Paz, y'all know the deal, uh, 38 Spech, all that type of shit. I get it. But it's more like of an artistic way of putting it out there. You know what I mean? Um, or something does happen and you kind of take elements from there and you're like, okay, you know, I'll implement some of this into my rhymes or whatever. Storytelling, if you will. Right? Okay fine i have no issue with that but why this is bad is this is gonna um create a, bu a bunch of avenues for people to go out here possibly go do something to somebody that they hate or or want to get revenge on or whatever the case may be and then write a song about it and they'll capitalize off of it and guess what you can't come back and say well look we're gonna Yo, you just killed somebody. Because guess what? Um, whoever's promoting this shit, Jay-Z, whatever artist is out there that says, oh yeah, this is a good idea. Because guess what? That's somebody's brother. That's somebody's sister. That's somebody's grandfather, father, cousin, whatever the case may be. And someone's getting victimized off the back of that and you're making money off the back of it. 
But see, nobody thinks that far. People are just saying, yeah, yeah, this is great. This is a great uh, foot forward for black people. No, it's not. What about getting some infrastructure for, for black America? What about that? At least Redman is doing something with the uh, with the cannabis shit. I, I mean, to me, I think that's, that's a... Uh, step forward. I know some people that follow me don't really agree with that, but I do. It, it, it's more productive, you know, because a lot of people get jailed behind that bullshit. But yeah, uh, this is going to open a door or, or, or in their eyes, a market to this shit, to more intra-racial violence. Because again, let's be, let's be 100. Like this is strictly towards the black community. You know what I mean? Because people like Jay-Z and the other artists that are um, being the proponents of this, they think that they're helping. Oh, yeah, this is a great thing. Meanwhile, you know, people off the, uh, are going to be making money off the backs of people that are victimized or raped or whatever the case may be. So you fucking figure it out. You tell me, what do you think about this shit? Is it, um, am I being hypocritical? You know, because I am a big proponent of freedom of speech. Again, you know, I'm a big believer in, listen, go make the hardest rap record out. But, you know, don't be out here doing it off the backs of somebody that, um, that, that, that you go out and, and victimize. That's all I'm saying. All right. So what do y'all think? Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. <laughs> Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, and that's it. Peace, bitches.